Fits in with the floor. He does. He's floor colored. Okay. Fits. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hercules will give people a minute to show up to our tour. Yeah. Hang out with Hercules. Oh my goodness, Hercules. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He is. He's so handsome. He is so handsome. If he could sit still, um, maybe we could get a a good. There he is. He hey, Hercules. We were I know. No. Like so this know. is Hercules. Thank you guys for joining our tour. <laughs> we're here with Hercules, um, and we were just talking about his DNA results. Uh, that we got in recently for him. So he's about 65 pounds. He's a goofball, as you can see. Um, I love him. So we had him down as a Staffordshire mix because he looked very Staffordshire-y. And so we were fairly certain that he was a Staffordshire mix. Um, we got his DNA results back. And it's kind of put everything together for us um, in terms of his personality. Because he is just everywhere. And as you can see, he's very bouncy. Like he has springs in his legs. That's a hint. He's part Springer Spaniel. So we find that very interesting. And it kind of ties everything together because he is energetic and bouncy, super smart, very treat oriented. <laughs> but he really does have springs in his legs. He's all about jumping and bouncing, as you can see. He's about three and a half years old now. And he has been up at the shelter uh, for a while looking for a home. He is a VIP, so we've reduced his adoption fee by half. He's been here since June. Thank you, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Hi. So he's been here since June. I don't know if any of you remember what you were doing last June. <laughs> it's kind of hard to think back. Um, but he's been here since then. And we love him. Um, but it's time he finds a new home. He's got to find a home. Uh, he gets along well with other dogs. He actually does really, really great in our play groups. He's been approved for play groups. He gets along really well with other dogs. Um, he actually does a lot better than we thought he was going to do. Oh my goodness. He's which definitely. is nice. Which is really, really nice. He's submissive towards other dogs. Um, some dogs he doesn't get along with all the time. So if you have another dog, definitely bring him to the shelter so they can meet and see if they get along. What else do we need to know about him, Wendy? Um, he, there's no age restriction on him. Uh, but, we, but we recommend you know older kids because of the jumping and just the energy. And back to the playgroup thing, he's very gentle with the other dogs, so he you know knows how to interact. But it's always a good idea to bring your dog, like Bianca said. He walks good on a leash. Um, you know, you just got to get him going. He likes to sniff a little bit. He's very friendly. Um, he's a good boy. What else? Yeah, he's just he's just a good boy. He doesn't really bark that much um, from what I've seen. He just, I mean, he does bark because he's a dog, <laughs> but he's not excessive, not an excessive barker. That's what they do. Yeah, no That's cats. That's what they do. He cannot live with cats or probably not small animals either. Just um, I, his previous owner made a no, no cats, so we're just throwing him in the He's lawn. got such pretty eyes. Yeah, he's just, his coloring is so handsome, but it, he's just a unique looking dog. Again, with the DNA results, we had some donations for the DNA um, that they, you know, kind of put a lot together, like yeah. Bianca said. Yeah. Lines everything yeah. up. I'm really so. glad we were able to do that for him. Yeah. Kind of makes, makes sense. And that so. might, the Springer Spaniel might go with the um, cat thing, you know, like they're kind of hunting dogs, so. That's true. Yeah, Very so true. that might be the. Good point. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, so we went dogs, kids, um, you know, he's just a, he's a good dog. He's three, so that's a good age. Past that puppy stage. Right, right. Exactly. Um, he does like to chew, so just be sure to get him 
toys and, and yeah. plenty of things to keep his mouth busy. He's a good boy. Look at him. He's so handsome. He's very you photogenic. Know he's being nice. <laughs> he lets you, like when, we're, when Bianca and I were talking, he was laying on the floor. It's just when you give him attention, he gets excited. Because he's been here so long. Look at that face. How can you say no to that yeah. face, guys? And those eyes. Love it. Yeah. Right. He's a good boy. There you go. Okay. Well, thank you for being on your bestest behavior. Yeah. Thank you, Hercules. Yeah. It's a good dog. Okay, so Wendy's going to put him back um, in his kennel. Yep. And then uh, we're going to walk around, see the other dogs who are here. Um, we're not going to go as in-depth deep dive on them. We're just going to walk through, pass out some treats. Here's a cute dog, too. Coming back from a an exercise romp. Okay, so we're gonna do big dogs, then small and medium dogs in domain, then head to villas to see some more big dogs, and then uh, we'll see who's here for puppies. This is Athena. We had an Athena earlier this week. Uh, a doodle dog who got adopted. This is another Athena. It's a very popular name this week. Hi. Come here. This is Buddy. Hey, Buddy. We got Bubba. Wendy's here with the treats, so of course, Topaz needs a treat. Hey, Topaz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Kane. Hey, Kane. Hey, little oh, Missy. Hey, she looks sad today. She wasn't sad for some reason. That might be a little ghost. That's just her face. She wants to go home to somebody. Yeah. Liberty got adopted. Yes. Yeah, I wanted, um, I have a really cute picture of uh, Liberty with her new dad. Great. Um, I'm going to share that tomorrow. Oh, Liberty. I know, she's great. Hey, this is Acorn. Hi. 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 You want treats? You want to come up and get it? No. Oh. 
Yeah, look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sarge. Al Puccino. <laughs> Down here, this is Shobo. He just got neutered today, so he's wearing an e collar. Hey, Shobo. He's cute. He has a nice dark red coat. He's Still, still kind of out of it. Out of it. He's, he's long and short. Short and long. That's Shobo. This is Philip. Hey, Philip. Hi. Yeah, you look like you're ready to go and have some fun. <laughs> I love this dog. This is Cindy. This is a stray beagle. Um, I think we've had multiple beagles come in in the past few days. Seems like it, yeah. Um, I think we're at like three beagles now, um, which is a little odd that we would have that many of. <laughs> Who is that? creating a fuss. It's a little odd that we've had so many beagles come in in a short period of time, so I don't know if they were, if they're even from the same house. They were found at different times, slightly different locations. I don't know if this is a su supreme coincidence, um, if they got out of one house's yard and made a break for it, or if somebody dumped them. I don't know. They could never have met each other. I don't know. I have no idea. But there's, that does seem to be. But it's very coincidental. Things. So this is that one. Really cute. It's a four-year-old girl. She's super pretty. Look at those ears. I love her. Hi. She's cute. Okay. This is Yogi. Um, Hi, Yogi. He's a senior. He is. He is eight years old. He has a pug beagle, not related to the pure pug beagles that have come in. Super cute. Oh, there's another, there's another Jack, beagle. another beagle. Five year old beagle. We're beagle heavy right now. Hi, hey, hey, Yak. He was an owner surrender, so he's definitely not related to our current beagle crisis. This is Angel, three-year-old beagle terrier. It's a little beagle-ish as well. Yeah. Calling all beagle lovers. Hi, goofball. This is Lily. This is Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Ruby Roo. Come say hi. You thinking about it? Oh, she just got spayed today, so she's still a little, yeah. little out of it. She got up. Hey, pretty girl. She got up to come over and say hi. That's how much she wants to go home. Right. Hi. Hello. Look at your pretty little feet. This is Milo. Look at that tail. That's like speed wagging right there. He looks very 
very dachshundy. Chihuahua dachshundy. Yeah. This is Layla. Hey, Layla. Hercules, who we met earlier at the beginning of the video. Hi, gorgeous. This is Nyla Star. She's pretty. I know. That color. I don't know, she looks kind of blue lacy ish to me. She does, yeah. I would think that she would be a good uh, candidate for DNA testing. Right. She's enjoying that treat. This is Nova. is ever allowed to name their dog Nala. We're, we're done. That's it. Right. No more, no more, no more Nala's. Love her. Love her. Okay. So we're going to go back this way. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go to Villas and check out all of our large dogs. Who's there? Hi guys. Oh, we skipped this one because she wasn't there. She's got to get a treat. This is Luna. Dog in there. Show me the dog. If you didn't hear it, this is Pee Wee. He's a baby. Him's a baby? Big He's only eight months. He's eight months old. He acts like a two month old. He's a lap dog. You seem to have a way with the little chihuahuas who want to be lap dogs. I know. Like they seem to gravitate towards you. Big treat. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, just 
pass them out. Um, in a few minutes, we're gonna come back to Puppy Palace, but for right now, we're gonna go to Dog Villas and check out all of our big dogs. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? We're not quite in Villas. This is our weekend sponsor room. Um, if anyone ever is looking to rehome a pet, these are actually our dogs, but the weekend sponsor program um, allows you to keep the pet with you during the week and then bring them up to the shelter on the weekends for adoption. It's a really awesome program. Rehoming without surrendering. Yeah, no, it's a great program. It's a really, really great program. I'm so glad that we were able to bring it back once COVID settled down. Um, this is Dakota, in case you're wondering. And this is Hunter. So cute. Yeah, so if you know of anyone that ever has to rehome a pet, definitely keep our weekend sponsor program in mind. Um, and if you need more information, feel free to send a private message and we'll, we'll get that out to you. This is Molly. Molly, Molly. Cute. She's like, come on, let me get back. Hi, Molly. She's another sad looking one. Also. She is. Her and little Missy. Sad. Hi, Molly. This is Wade. Hi, Wade. Else is here. Piper. Piper. She's cute. Yeah, she really is. She's calm. This is any. Where are you, any? He keeps going right behind the pedal. Any. He's so handsome. Love him. Zeus, I'm really surprised this dog is still here. Yeah. He's so handsome. People always want German Shepherd. He loves to give you, like, jump up and give you hugs. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's still here. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he's as tall as you. He's, he's a good boy. boy. Yeah, this is Mary. Mary. Mary, Mary. Not contrary. <laughs> this is Mo. Hey Mo, with your widow's peak. Hello, Mo. <coughs> He's good. He's a good boy. Good boy. This is Stella. Stella! Stella. Stella! There we go. <laughs> She's like, come on, give me the treat. That's right, give me the treat. Give me the treat. Xerxes. Hello. Yeah. Very pretty dog. Yeah. About six months old retriever cattle dog. Nice and active, like if you're a dogger. Have another active dog that you want to. That's a friend. This is Bella. Hey, Bella. Hi. Bella's three and a half years old. Hold on, let me see if I can get a good angle on her. She's very pretty. With no reflection. She is very pretty. Yeah. Oh, that was a good sit. She, needs, she deserves a treat after She's that. She's well one. behaved, calm. This is Jack. Everyone knows Jack. There's his tail. There's Jack's butt. Hey, Jack. So handsome. I know, I know, Jack. You need to find a good home. We really don't know why you're still here. I know. We've got a few of them. He's the longest dog resident. There's Jack Jack. Love him. This is Suzuki. Are you gonna come over here? 
Come here. No. Treats? No. He'll throw them to me. Okay, that's fine. He'll just throw them to me. Hi, this is Archie. Hi, Archie. You can see the chihuahua in there. Yeah. He's like, come on, I sit. I sit you treats. That's how it works. That's right. Give me the I treat. sit you treats. Treat, lady. And then, this is the last dog in Villas. This is Bruno. Okay, so now we're going to go to Puppy Palace. One last look at Molly as we go out the door. <laughs> I know, you got to give her another one. You can't say no to that face. Hey, Kathy. Hello, hello. Okay, Puppy Palace, here we come. <laughs> Afternoon walking time. Okay. Oh my goodness, why are you shaking, boo boo? This is Mochi. Hi. Say hi to peoples. Mochi's 10 week old Staffordshire mix. He's got cute spots on his nose and his feet. That's adorable. Hi. They're very cute. Again, that's mochi. We don't have many puppies right now. You're cute. This is Shasta. Shasta is a nine week old pounder retriever. This is Iris and Dahlia. Staffordshire Terrier mixes. Hi, girls. Staffies are so cute little puppies. They are. Oh, They're especially, in. these two puppies in particular are especially short legged. Oh, Cuteness. And they've got cute ears. You lost it. There you go. Yeah, let's try again. They look retrievery. Here, here. Here. Except they're maybe not the best smart. I know. <laughs> Sorry, girls. I know. I you're adorable, so. but you're not that smart. <laughs> they got the look. It's a good thing. They she's pretty. <laughs> Down here. Adorable. This is Hera. Catahoula mix. Catahoula retriever. Nine Hi. weeks old. Oh. She's pretty. Yeah. Nugget here. Hi. Oh. This is Dylan. Dylan is nine weeks old. It's a retriever mix. Oh, Oof. I'm sorry, Dylan. Hey. Apparently he gets spooked. Yeah, you're a little nervous. He was not expecting. The treat's almost as big as he is. I know. I'm oh Dylan. Okay. That's it. Hi girls. So that's everyone. So please tell people, come to the shelter, adopt a pet. All the shelters in Houston are overloaded right now and completely at capacity. I think the only capacity that we have at the moment is four puppies. All of our other kennels are full, full, full. So we need as much help as we can get. Please tell everyone, adopt a pet from a shelter, foster a pet from a shelter, do something to help a shelter, that would be super awesome. And if they can't have, if they can't do that, if they don't have the time, please at least spay and neuter the pets that you already have. That would help out a whole bunch. Right? Right? Yes? Okay. We're gonna see you this weekend because you're gonna come to the shelter. Say bye, Shasta. She's so cute, you gotta boop the nose. Love it. Okay. 
You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us.